Oh, ladies and gents, a blah foobar here, fucked up beyond all recognition. And here we are for another episode of Tom Clancy's The Division. A way to head off to do a mission for the medical wing, Hudson Refugee Camp. Since I uploaded my last video, I've played about 50 hours on this game so far. As you can see here, I'm actually on level 12. Um, I'm uh, just been doing a lot of side missions, gathering the stuff, figuring out how the game plays and runs. You know. So here we are, we heads off to Hudson Refugee Camp. Just on normal. I have actually already done this. This will be a replay. I do know the there's a, area. The yards have become a, tent city for the destitute a lot of cleaners the in here. Out of every place else end up here. What we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived the dollar flu for Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. Just pick up some items on the way. Kill these couple of guys that's round the corner. Couple headshots, maybe, maybe even one headshot. <laughs> Bang, dead. Another guy will run out from behind there. So here we are at Hudson Refugee Camp. Better listen to Jessica Kendall so we know what our mission objectives are. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Dollar flu. Get flu for a dollar. Lovely. Here we go, heading down into the mission. Active echo beacon detected. There's only one way to kill a cleaner. And anybody that's playing this game knows fine where you want to shoot them. Bomb. <laughs> oh, we all just love that. Grenade. Not far enough. Oh, that was nasty. It's a bit warm in here. Shoot and move, shoot and move. Stay still and die. Time to move. Just check around the area, off we go. around time to move oh shoot not so good there and the head there we go sorted prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camp. Now this is the quickest camp. route Jesus, you I've found through here. Draconian solution. You've got to watch out for these bombs. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac, 
You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents. Another one on my left there. And then head up through the train carriage. And there's two inside that as well. Through this train carriage, you go through this Warning. train carriage. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're gonna try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So keep them extra alive, I guess. Hmm. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Hmm. Candle out. You get a couple of guys up here. Yeah, I've got to go for the tank on the back again. See if I can get a clean shot. Such a good weapon to have as a sniper rifle, or some kind of sniper rifle. Keeps your enemy at a distance, can pick them off. There's a couple of cleaners along here as well, up on the left. Take these two out and then head up that way and then head to the right up onto the platform. And then there's another two cleaners. Nice, two headshots. So you head up on this platform and there'll be two cleaners to your right here. Duck down, look to your right, just in there. In the tank. Head in there and go through there and come out the other end and then you've got a bit of a battle with about five or six guys. They must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe. There's two guys up in that far platform. One of them's a cleaner. 
in the tank. <laughs> you just gotta love that, don't you? Throw down my little droid gun, a little bit of extra protection on my flank. Head on to the next area now, pick up some of the goodies that's lying around. I like to usually collect everything, but I can't reuse a sale. And then uh, use the money that I build up to buy extra weapons. Or better weapons. I'm still trying to figure out this upgrading thing, I've not got the hang of that yet. Even though I've played 50 hours of this game, I still can't quite work it out. But I'll get there. Up the stairs, up the ladder. And as you just come up this ladder, the end here. Duck down, look right. And there you go. This is the next area you have to go through. That has to be. Shoot him in the tank. It's the guys with the grenades. The guys with the grenades drive me insane. So I usually like to take them out first. One shot in the head. Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves, yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. Head up here now. On your left. Usually on your left there's a couple of guys, or one guy.
This is just a quick run through. There is a lot of boxes you can pick up and back there where the rail carriages is you can actually pick up a really cool pistol up one of the side of the carriages. But then most of us just break them all down and use them for parts to get better weapons. See, he's not going to come out and play. He is there somewhere. There he is. See? Ah, I love these grenades. The ones that gives them the electric shock. These are cool. This is all for the green Boom. This is Dr. Candles. Sampling team, can you hear me? Patel here. Go ahead, Doctor. Oh, Lieutenant, good. Listen, I need you guys to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale. Then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, Doctor. But maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? Just focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, you'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, doctor. We'll get it all worked out. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species we're talking about. <sighs> Copy that, doc. Patel, out. So you head up on your left here, through that opening, but if you look down on your right there's a restock box where you can reload everything again, restock up all your all your ammo. Just get through this hole quick and get down behind the wall. Last time I stood up there I just got shot to bits. Drop the gun! 
know what's at stake. Everybody goes all in. Just kill the big boss man now. Throw out one of my little machine gun droids. Give me any cover that I need. And just slowly keep pumping away at this up here. That's his droid destroyed. That's that. Objective complete. Head up the stairs here for the gate. Crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. So there you go, ladies and gents. Hudson Refugee Camp on Tom Clancy's The Division. Absolutely brilliant game, loving it so far. Uh, as thanks very much for coming along to watch my video. Blah, fubar, fucked up beyond all recognition. <laughs>